once again it's cool groove at kansas motor speedway in the nascar cup series nascar heat five we're on qualifying and uh, i don't have any faith that i will do anything better than 40th and there's only 40 cars qualifying so yay I uh, hope you're all having a wonderful day in the neighborhood or whatever neighborhood that is. I uh, hope you enjoy the content today. If you do, hit the like and subscribe button. If you don't, hit the like and subscribe button. Not teasing. Um, and let's see how horrible we will do. Oh, dead last. Uh, but what do you expect when your car's an 80 overall and my first plans is once I get some money to upgrade my engine and my pit crew because my pit crew is like three and a half seconds or more slower than my Xfinity team. Oh, Ryan No Neck Newman starting the back door with me. Oh, and... Is that Daniel Suarez, my new rival? And who is that other one? Oh, Christopher Bell. I still don't know who that other car is. Oh, well. Not my problem. I need to get in the front as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, if you saw my last video, oh, that's Tyler Reddick. Um, that Daniel Suarez no me my no longer my amigo. He tried to wreck me, so I have to adopt him my new rival. As you see, I'm losing the draft. But I'm going to try to race on the high side because, from what I understand, that is the fastest way. Don't feel like it, but long term it does seem to pay off because I get more momentum and grip up here as I exit this turn. That lap was faster than my qualifying lap. But basically 12 seconds behind Joey Logano. 4.3, 4.5 seconds behind Chad Fincham and Ross Chastain. And at a two tenths of a second, we got Lord Corey LaJoy and Christopher Tyler Reddick and Christopher Bell. So, No, 
Come on, get straight, get straight. Where's the caution? Ay, ay, ay. How many times did I have to spin around in circles to get a caution? Hopefully no one pits after that caution. After the uh, end of this stage, I need to get in the top 20. I have five races to get three top 20s. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. because everyone pitted they were leaving me in the dust and it was it took me 10 laps to go in that stage just to get three and a half seconds away from 39th oh they get a caution Only three of us pitted. Hopefully that will work out in my favor. After a while, I need to avoid the apron because it's been my kryptonite, especially on worn tires. Alright, so it's looking like that pitting after the stage is paying off. I am finally able to pass some cars relatively slowly, but I'm passing cars. I'm in 35th. Sniffing at Michael McDowell's bumper there. Alright, 12 laps to go on lap 8. I'm still nervous about my top 20. I'm 31st. Uh, ten and a half seconds from Joey. 1.1 second away from Ross Chastain. Um, the fresher tires are helping, but not as much as I would hoped or need to be. Definitely need to work on my engine power, aero, suspension, and my pit crew. Alright, so I got enough fuel to make it to the end of the stage, but I don't know if my tires will. It's been a caution free, so hopefully there will be green flags pit stops that will inherit me the lead and then I can just baby the car up trying to get some points for that stage. Because my goal is to try to stay out as late as long as possible without having to pit. Alright, green flag pits are happening. A little too soon for my liking but I'll take it. 
Oh, some of those cars are short pitting because Joey and Kyle Busch are still on the track. Stay on the outside. Kyle's still on the lead, is on the track, so he hasn't pitted yet. Oh, uh, car's getting loose. It would be nice to get a caution when all these cars are lapped down. <laughs> that would help. Martin Truex has got the lead. Either he's already pitted or he's staying out one more lap. I'm sitting fourth, but I don't know how long that will last. Um, just past Kevin coming up on Byron and I believe Ryan Blaney Eric Amarillo who pitted when I pitted has got the lead I'm in second now which is something I just don't realize I think I may be able to make it I don't know why but Brad's giving me a push an unneeded push Where's the caution? Fine. Jeez. Brad Colossi spin me and no caution. This game is rigged. Didn't want to have to end it that way, but I had no choice. I guess I did have a choice, but hey, I'm the MC of this game. <laughs> so. I think it would be a safe prediction, depending on how many cautions, I'm, I'm predicting at least one maybe two and hopefully I'm not the result of it of them at all I think the best I will finish is 10th there is 10 cars on the lead lap everyone's a lap down or more and there's Brad trying to finish me off again I know I'm not a Michigan native, but I live in Michigan, man. That's Michigan or Michigan crime. Ah, 
blasting off the wall! Alright, Chris Busher is closing in on me for ninth, which is fine. As long as I don't go a lap down, we're good. And as long as all those people who are a lap down don't pass William B right now, it's fine with me as well. And note to self that the that was awfully dangerous of trying to go all the way to the end. Had Brad wouldn't have given me that push and I was trying to get out of the way. I could have finished that, hopefully. But I'm hoping you're enjoying this. So I hope everyone is enjoying their summer. I hope they have a safe summer and I hope that it is full of wonderful fond memories. Thankfully, despite having a subpar car, because I was started so far up, oh, Joey, Joey, and no caution. Joey spun me out and Matty Reed just tried to take me out, but no caution. And Chris Bursher passed me. What I was saying before I got attacked that way is because I was so far up in the pack, I was able to. maintain the draft per se to where when my car is finally cocked in I didn't have to uh, go f too far before I hit caught up with everybody Come here, Joey. I like to talk to you. It only take a second. Oh, uh, Suarez. Oh, that's Priest, not Suarez. Um, Joey. My bad. Suarez, you'll get to live to fight another day. Our rivalry isn't that strong as like the rivalry that Joey Gase and I have now. Oh, wow. Look how far ahead Ryan Blaney is from the rest of the pack. Twenty seconds ahead. I'm eleven seconds behind Kevin Harvick. Now would be a good time for a caution. I don't want to pit because I'm afraid a caution will come out <laughs> and stick me behind lap behind. <laughs> Thank you. 
So some cars are pushing. Sorry, Stenhouse. Or AKA Spinhouse. Stay off the wall, James. Eight laps of fuel. I got maybe two, three laps left on my tires. Leaders are pitting, and I'm being consistently hitting that portion of the wall. I really want to pit when Blaney pits. Or pit when he's, hopefully if I pit, he pits. Oh, thank you. Needed that caution so bad. Oh, was that Joey Gase that wrecked? Karma strikes again. Please don't tell me they're all on a lead lap now because of that wave around. Oh, booger. As long as I don't drop a little 20th, I don't really care at the moment. I just want to stay high as ranked as possible so I can get as much money as possible. Oh, come on, I need more speed. Thank you, Truex. You're a true trooper. I hope you stay one more season in NASCAR. Oh, Suarez. Oh, oh. Who do I have here on my right side? Though he really didn't have much, nowhere to go. So, Manny B, you're not on my naughty list. But Joey Gay still is. Looks like Brian Blaney will be the man to beat on this Kansas race. As Christopher Bell and Matty B splits me and John Hunter sends us four wide. Come on, give me a push. I just need to stay six more laps. I'm going to stay in the top ten six more laps. I'll be happy. Bubba. Use Bubba Wallace for the draft partner, but John doesn't know how to get over. Sixth place. Who passed me? Kyle Bush just passed me for six. Ryan Newman passed me for fifth. So I'm now in seventh. Kurt Bush is on my bumper. Uh, and he's going to get over it because I'm getting tight and can't turn. Last thing I want is Kevin Harvick mad for I'm just going to move on over for him. I do not want beef with Happy. Push Alex Bowman, the showman. Go four wide, three wide. Four wide. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh, I was just trying to give Brad a love tap and I just caused all sorts of mess. 
So Martin is probably happy that I got him back on the lead lap. <laughs> oh, how many people are going to be annoyed with me after this race? All right, come on, Chase. Yeah, give me that push past Harvick and Bursch. So you may think this is a, was a shady race, and I got to admit that that caution that I caused at the beginning, at the end of stage two, a that should have been called a long time ago. But uh, I, and if I didn't cause it, force a caution, I would have gone a lap down. And all I was trying to do was give Brad a love tap. And that backfired greatly. Oh, excuse me. So note to self, last couple laps of the race, don't pay anyone back. And a big payout day. Sponsors are happy. The fans are happy. And let's go to the next race. I hope you all enjoy it what you watched today if you think this was shady leave a comment hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you think it was all racing uh, Rubbin's racing uh, leave a comment hit the like button hit the subscribe button um, and find me twitch twitter tiktok and instagram um, I'd like to hear from you and see what you guys think of the channel y'all have a good night now and have a good day peace